Here we have the Watkins copycat tape delay unit. There were different versions of this, but this is the Super IC version from 1978 or something like that. It has op amp integrated circuits instead of tubes. There are four different inputs, so you can plug all your bandmates into the same unit, including the drummer. And uh, there is a external plug, which is the output, which you should put into your amp. So simple on, off or power switch, which is labeled the wrong way around. When you turn it on, the thing starts to spin. Very simple. And then you can plug your guitar into either of these four inputs. And you have a sort of pre-amplifier here, which you can use to increase the gain. Because it's going through a whole lot of circuitry onto the tape and back, uh, the signal needs boosting. And uh, that's what these knobs do. So you could turn off the delay completely and just use it as a preamp to hit your uh, uh, preamp tube in your tube amp a bit harder. It's kind of like a booster. These are the four play heads. One, two, three, four. What happens is you hit a chord with your guitar, channel one. It's recorded onto the tape with this head. At the moment you go with your big chord, jang! And it's picked up again by the first delay play head here after it's traveled this distance. This is what's determining the real delay. So part of the signal from your guitar goes in, goes out of the unit dry, undelayed, and part of the signal is being delayed by the time it takes a tape to travel this distance. So you can engage either of these four heads, which are different delay times, by using these four knobs. You can engage all these four uh, play heads or either or either of them or any select. Of course there is uh, another head which is the erase head. Uh, by the time it travels here the contents of the tape is erased by this head and then the tape travels around and uh, goes back to being be recorded. Two controls here um, control the delay intensity and sustain. It's not really clear what they do uh, at the moment. But let's uh, open this baby up. Well, before doing anything disruptive to the machine, we should try 
uh, first to clean the heads and maybe change the tape and check out the jacks in the back which are supposed to hide uh, supposed to be for the uh, foot switch this is why you re really need a loop pedal uh, not to do some silly uh, edge here and stuff uh, but to test guitar amps without having to strum all the time so let's see okay we got some nice boogie going on okay let's route it through the delay machine Okay, plug in the machine. Oh my god. Notice how the game changes when I push the button just partly. And then it goes. This is what we want to hear. Problem is in the buttons. Okay, let's get some contact spray. Here we are. From the inside, I'll better spray a little bit right here instead of from the top. One works, but not so good as uh, two and three. Let's take off the tape and try and clean the tape heads. Uh, before we proceed. If you want to take off the tape, you push the wheel here and then you can take it off without damaging anything, hopefully. Okay, the tape is off. It has probably seen better days, but who hasn't? Um, I'm kind of disappointed, got some old cassettes uh, but this tape is not the same width as uh, the tape that's on the machine so let's just first clean the tape heads before we do anything else of course we use these q-tips these cotton sticks as we call them in Europe and we need some alcohol uh, gin tequila uh, no 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 Gromani no Nah, don't go there. Um, you need, that's too sticky, so I don't have any normal alcohol, so we'll use uh, this. It'll make the thing smell good. Of 
of course I was kidding I'm not going to use the, this aftershave but uh, I do have some whiteboard cleaner that I used and which seems to be working quite fine uh, so uh, so the eraser head is already done that's the one who needed to work least but it's still quite dirty The ICs all carry the same date code, 1977, 37 week, and they're all from the same batch. The two pots are 10K and they are CTS pots, and it's hard to see from this angle, but if you... Okay. 1978. So the unit was probably built after 78 and uh, the nice thing is we have like uh, a trace of the original owner Gary Gordon 10 Westlands and it's a 1984. I'm gonna put some contact cleaner into the pots they uh, may well need it and uh, we'll see how it sounds afterwards. the tape running for a few minutes and you have been playing on it you can sort of uh, there's still this kind of trace of the sound if you really want to erase it you'll have to push the tape against uh, the erase head which is this one of course and then you'll you'll hear it go
Thank you.